you are locked into the Praise Life Morning Show right here on SPR Live FM with host Claremont Humphrey. SPR Live FM, Fun City Radio FM, Success Radio, the Praise Life Morning Show. My Lord was with me. And he has taken me step by step back to good health. Won't you come along this journey with me? Hi, my name is Dr. Deborah Williams, and I'm here to give you a word of encouragement, your health tip, and a prayer. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Claremont. Good morning to the workers at the radio station and good morning to the world. Yes, the world has gone crazy, but God's children are focusing on Jesus. So praise the Lord. It's a beautiful Monday morning in Jamaica, Claremont. We've been having rain, a lot of rain for the last few weeks. And so the trees are green and the flowers are there and we're having all kind of fruit and I'm just celebrating our creator. I'm celebrating our creator. So this morning, listeners, we love you. We do this because of love for you. This morning, please, Bible in hand, okay? For a word of encouragement, our health tip, and a prayer. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you for Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you for your, your sweet, wonderful angels who are here ministering unto us. Oh, Lord, this morning on this segment, please, as we encourage your people, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in your sight. You are my strength and you are my redeemer. Amen. All right, now, guys, this morning for our word of encouragement, I'm taking you to a little, a little poem. It's really a song, but I don't sing well, so I'm going to read as a poem. It says, I heard the voice of Jesus. That's the name of the song. It's a hymn, right, from my hymnal. So this is my hymnal that I use at church and stuff. Like and this is a hymn. It's 465. But I'm going to read it because the words are so important and so intense. I heard the voice of Jesus say, come unto me and rest. Lay down the weary one. Lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was weary and worn and sad. I found in him a resting place and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, behold, I freely give him. The living water, thirsty ones, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus and I drank of that life-giving stream. Hallelujah. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live for him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me. Thy morn shall rise and all thy day be bright. I looked to Jesus and I found in him my star, my sun. And in the light of life I'll walk till traveling days are done. Hallelujah. Are you hearing the voice of Jesus, my friends? In this darkened world, we've got to hear the voice of Jesus. Now in Matthew 5, I look at what we call the Beatitudes. Matthew chapter 5. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he, Jesus, opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness, for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. 
I hear the voice of Jesus telling me, Deborah, bless, 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 bless. And he tells me how to be blessed. Now, as you go through Matthew 5, and I want all of you today, I want you to read Matthew 5, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, and all the way to chapter 8. Just, just read it. Pray quietly and look at Jesus talking to you. Hear the voice of Jesus. Satan is trying to crowd out Jesus' voice with the world. And so we're being bombarded with the news from Satan department. All of these presidents, prime ministers, these scientists, doctors with their fear mongering and their COVID foolishness, as Claremont was telling me earlier, nobody can get the flu anymore. You know, you start sniffling, it's COVID, and if you, if you have a little fever, it's COVID. And in fact, the, the, the symptoms of the flu is worse than the symptoms of COVID because many persons are asymptomatic. They have no symptoms at all unless they go and do a little test to say that they have COVID. The devil is in the details, but we must hear the voice of Jesus. As we go over and we look at, at Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, when he says, he says, you have heard that it has been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. I say unto you, love your, your, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. And he sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Hear the voice of Jesus. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Question. Do not even the publicans the same question? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than they? Question. And others, do not even the publicans? Be he, God's children, be he, therefore perfect, even as your Father which in heaven is perfect. And Jesus gives us a wonderful discourse when he goes over to chapter 12 and he says, We are to seek ye first the kingdom of God. This is Matthew 6 and verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Be like children in the arms of Jesus. Hear the voice of Jesus saying, My children, war, famines, pestilence, Matthew 24, are coming on the earth. Fear not, says Jesus. Fear not. I have overcome the world. He has vanquished Satan. And Jesus is coming very soon. What is our responsibility? Stay in the narrow road that goes through the straight gate that leads to everlasting life and leave the broad road people alone. They're heading to destruction by their own choice. We need the infilling of the Holy Spirit to keep our mind focused on Jesus. Watch your ear gate, watch your eye gate, watch, watch your mouth, watch your heart. Hear the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, for our health tip this morning, we are going to be looking at poor blood circulation. I have so many people who I have to counsel with from time to time because they've been diagnosed with poor blood circulation. They've been given drugs pharmaceutical drugs, and it's only making it worse. Last week, we spoke about thrombosis, blood clots. This week, I want to go a little deeper into the whole issue of blood. Blood. Now, I, I love this. I love God, you know. I love God. We get so excited in the medical world about, about blood and the, the purpose of blood and the function of blood. Who made blood? Did God not make blood? God made blood. In Exodus chapter 7, we see where God told Moses to go down to Pharaoh. And 10 plagues were going to hit Egypt because Egypt was so into idolatry. And God was really trying to set them free from their idols. Every single plague that hit Egypt was a form of a common God to them. And Jehovah, Yahweh, the I am that I am, was trying to set them free. But they wouldn't be set free from their idols. The first plague was turning water into blood. And so, you know, I, I tell my clients, you know, when you're told by your doctor you're anemic and you're going through these, these blood-related diseases, if you are a child of God, hello, Exodus 7 and verse 17, God can convert water into blood into your body. We got to we gotta start taking God seriously. You know, we don't take God seriously. We don't take God practically. It's almost like we have the Bible and we go to church and we pray. But it's really just like a, 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 little, a little fantasy. It's not real. And 
faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. You gotta fortify yourself with the word. Turn off the TV, turn off the radio, hear the voice of Jesus. Blood functions. No blood transport nutrients, gases, waste, and hormones throughout your body. Blood regulates your pH. Now, you know, pH stands for potential of hydrogen, right? It's a scale used to specify acidity within the, within the blood. Blood function is the restriction of fluid loss during injury. Blood defends against pathogens and toxins. So even though, I mean, I saw this thing about this new variant of COVID, you know, it's worse than the one before, and, and I had to sit on there and say, Jesus, just cover your people so that they can remain seen. So the whole world gone mad. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy, right? So blood, as far as, I'm going to give you some facts about blood before I go deep into blood circulation. Now, here are some facts about blood that you may not know, and you should know. Number one, the pH of blood stays between 7.35 to 7.45. So God has so organized your body at the time, between your, your, your liver, your kidneys, um, and all the organs in your body to stabilize the, the blood at a pH of that level. Because if it goes below the 7.35, you could get very sick. But if it becomes too alkaline above the 7.45, you can also become sick. So God balances it. And doctors can understand that. Your blood temperature stays approximately at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get too hot, your blood vessels will dilate, right, to get you cool. And if it gets too cool, your blood vessels will constrict to keep in the heat. Men have more blood volume than women. So your, your body weight for an adult is about 8% to 10% blood, right? So your body weight. Now men have approximately 5.6 liters of blood. Women have about 4.5 liters of blood. And the reason men have more blood than women is because of their muscle mass. So they need more blood to bring more oxygen to their muscles because of the androgen they're men, right? The testosterone. No blood that pumps through your heart. Every minute, five to six liters of blood goes through your heart. So even though you're sitting on there, Claremont, you're not doing anything. Your body is busy. Your heart is there pumping the blood right through so that your tissue, your brain, your organs can be fed with a wonderful machine, right? Approximately. 200 gallons of blood pass through your body every single day, going through the heart and going through your, 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 your veins. And your, it's a marvelous machine, right? Now, we have approximately um, 44 to 45% of our blood volume is red blood cells. And we know the red blood cells carry the nutrients and the oxygen, the hemoglobin, right? I wouldn't need iron to make sure we have healthy hemoglobin, a protein in the blood. We have about 1% of what we call um, uh, white blood cells and the, and the platelet, platelets. And then plasma now makes about 55% of your blood. And plasma is really very high in H2O, which is water, gases, nutrients, waste, hormones. So the body is so beautifully organized with blood, the function of blood. The white blood cells we find in the lymphatic system and you know, it is feeding the, the body with defense mechanism against COVID, against the flu, against virus, against bacteria. So the only persons who should be worried today about this COVID thing are persons who do not have healthy blood because God has designed your blood to keep you in good health. But guess what happens? You can't be in good health if you're stopping down pizza and soda and alcohol and sugar and candies. I know it's Christmas, all this Christmas cake with all this rum in it and all this sugar in it and white flour and, and all this coloring, coloring. Come on, guys. You want to defend your body against this thing? Locking up your house, it ain't going to do it. You need to go outside and exercise and get sun in your skin for vitamin D. That's how you fight the virus. All right, now, now that you understand blood, let's talk about poor circulation. We need this blood that your heart is pumping through the body. Remember, it is four to six liters of blood that pumps through your heart every minute. Your heart is a muscle and it needs to be fed with all the necessary minerals, right? Or magnesium or potassium or calcium, all these minerals that keeps the heart pumping, pumping as they 
control of that. All right. Now. So symptoms of poor blood circulation, cold fingers, cold hands and feet. Also, we may have um, numbness or tingling in the fingers and the toes. A general sense of chilliness always when others are warm, right? Frequent uh, bruising, as something hits you, bruising, you can see it, it's so visible. Uh, frequent infection anywhere in the body, right? Numbness in your joints. These are some of the symptoms that you're having poor blood circulation. Also, dizziness, right? Um, the inability to concentrate, even eyes, because if your body is not sending up healthy, rich, rich red blood that goes in the capillaries to feed your eyes, you're going to have a problem with your eyes, okay? Now, what are some of the causes of poor blood circulation? Poor blood circulation can be caused by the first one is obesity. Think of your body. Think of your body and think of the, the veins and the arteries and think of it as a hose, right? You have a network of holes carrying blood and then you have all this excess fat, right? Clogging up your body. How is the blood going to be fluid to go through the holes, the veins and the arteries? It can't go through. So it's going to, it's going to back up, block up, and you're going to have poor circulation. So obesity is my number one. We have cardiovascular disease because there are many things that can affect the heart and the heart can pump the blood as efficiently as it should. Low thyroid hormone. So we know we have the thyroid gland, right? The thyroid gland is controlled by something in your brain. But if we're not producing the hormones up here to feed down here, right? The hormones going through the body, we call it the endocrine system. As you can see, the endocrine system controlled by the brain, right? And we need to eat healthy food for that to happen. So we have low thyroid function, vitamin E deficiency can affect blood circulation because vitamin E is needed to make healthy blood cells or low blood pressure. Now you can have low blood pressure coming from inactivity, obesity, poor diet, right? Um, and other issues. Now other causes may have may, may be high fat and high cholesterol diet. So when we say to you, get rid of the chicken, get rid of the eggs, the fish, the flesh, get rid of the trans fat, the vegetable oils, right? Get all of these highly processed things out of your diet. This is one of the reasons, because we need your, your blood vessels to be nice and clean, right? So the blood can flow through, so you don't have poor blood circulation problems. Atherosclerosis, when your, your arteries are becoming affected because, again, the blood going through them is so dirty, the pH is so, is so, so poor, your, your body is becoming so acidic, and now your arteries are becoming um, inflamed and infected. Lack of exercise. You got to put on your sneakers and go for at least 30 minutes of walk in the mornings. That's what Dr. Debs do. I do not tell my patients to do anything I don't do. Every morning at about 5.30 to 6 o'clock, I go for a one-hour run walk. And when I come back, I do weight and skipping rope. And I'm 51 years of age. I'm 51 and I love being 51 because the 20s was too chaotic and the 30s was too chaotic. I'm enjoying the 50s now with joy and good health, right? We have long periods of standing or sitting. So when I see many um, hairdressers, barbers, um, cashiers who spend the whole day standing or sitting, they tend to have issues with blood. So you see the, the legs start swelling up, edema, poor blood circulation, poor posture. You know, you have some persons who they can't sit on the rump of their butt. They're always sitting on the edge of their spine and they slouch down in the chair. You must sit up, right? Sit up, have a good posture so that the blood can flow through without any hindrance. Then we have high blood pressure, prolonged muscle tension, inflammation, or even inadequate clothing. If you are constantly wearing sleeveless tops and shorts, so your extremities are always exposed and up here in the trunk, you have a lot of heat, it's going to affect the flow of blood, right? Because you have so much heat in here that the blood stays concentrated here. It doesn't go down to the extremities, especially if you're in a cold country. So it's important that you are clothed evenly, especially if you live in a very cold place, right? Now, what are some of the things that we can do to help to um, prevent poor blood circulation? And if we have it, what can we do to reverse it? Because it can be reversed. God has made our body so wonderful. The body is designed to heal. Number one, we're going to put you on a, if you're obese, you're going to lose the weight. That's the first thing. 
if you are no amount of medication that your doctor has given you, if you are 40 pounds overweight, 60 pounds overweight, I see some for 100 pounds overweight coming into my office, five feet, four inches, and weighing 260 pounds. Come on, people. And taking medication, and you think you're going to get better? Never going to happen. You got to lose the weight. And I can help you to lose the weight. Just call my office, 876-974-8813 or 876-878-8867. And I will put you on a guided, coached program to take off the weight safely. I see so many persons who I have not seen in the last two years, and I've seen them now, and they're so fat. I said, what happened to you? Oh, COVID caused it. I lock up in the house since COVID, eating, how can I drop food? No, again, 40 pounds, again, 20 pounds. Call my office and help us. Help us to help you to get the weight off. Number two, we, we can vitamin E. So we can start taking about 800 international units of vitamin E. Vitamin C, about 2,000 milligrams. But please remember, you can't just take supplements like that. And that's why I'm, sometimes I'm very careful how I give out um, remedies on this program. I'll tell you about the disease and I'll tell you to call my office. Because in fact, there are some diseases I can't just say go and buy the supplements. But it takes more than just supplements, especially when it comes to something like poor blood circulation. But these are some of the things I would incorporate in the program when I'm working with somebody who's having the issue. I would also put them on a juice fast for a couple of days, take them off all cooked food, and just give them vegetable juices for a couple of days while I guide them in terms of certain herbs that they can take, right? To help them to get the blockage out of their veins. Do not eat meat, no cheese, no fatty processed and junk food. Avoid cold food, people. Avoid going to the fridge and eating out cold drinks and gobbling, 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 gobbling down. What does that do to your, to your stomach? It constricts the blood vessels, right? Because it has to warm up before your body can actually start absorbing it. Avoid caffeine completely. I have a gentleman who came to my office having poor blood circulation. The man has been to every doctor he can think of. And he's just 54 and he's, he's literally almost crippled over pain. And so I was investigating, what do you eat? What do you drink? What do you do? And I finally found the culprit, the main culprit. He says he drinks like four or five cups of coffee every day. And he's been doing that for years. Coffee leeches B vitamins out of your body. Coffee leeches calcium out of your bone. Coffee destroys your veins and your arteries. And not one doctor asked the man, what are you eating? What are you drinking? They just keep giving him prescription after prescription after prescription. But there is a better way. Now, there's some natural remedies, for example, hot and cold hydrotherapy showers can help you tremendously with poor blood circulation. And Claremont has been through the hot and cold hydrotherapy. He'll tell you about it later on. You go in the hot water and you run down your body for about three minutes, right? As hot as you can manage it. What does the heat do? It pulls the blood, right? It pulls the blood to circulate. Then you turn on the cold water now, as cold as you can take it, and it blasts your body for about 30 seconds. The first time you do it, it's going to shock your system. But it's an excellent tonic for blood circulation. It works very well. I need a four sets, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, two or three times a day. That will help to stimulate the flow of blood through your body. Again, we said exercise at least two or two or three twice a day. Exercise outdoors, practice deep breathing is very important. Now, some herbs that you can take that will help with the blood, blood tonics. We have red clover blossom. We have burdock. We have paliaco. We have the ginkgo biloba. We have hawthorn berries and the, the powdered cayenne pepper. I was explaining to Claremont recently the difference between the cayenne pepper and then the hot, the other hot peppers. Cayenne doesn't irritate the lining of your stomach. Cayenne actually helps your blood vessels to dilate. It's really a herb. It's an excellent herb. It feels like it's burning, but it's not really burning the way the hot, uh, hot peppers do. Cayenne pepper is excellent for helping with proper blood circulation. We have the golden seed. We have one called skull cap. We want to ensure that we are balancing new start. Nutrition is a whole food plant-based diet. Exercise, drink your water. Plasma makes up 55% of your blood, and plasma is mostly water. It's H2O. So you've got to be drinking your water evenly throughout the day. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, self-control. Everything must be balanced in your life. Air, rest, 
You got to be in bed like Dr. Debs by 9 p.m. every night and get up back in the morning by about 3.34, refreshed and ready because your melatonin has done the repair. So your dopamine are dealing with somebody now with Parkinson's disease. Dopamine, by not making dopamine, you're not having the dopamine, you're going to have problems with Parkinson's disease. His doctors have put him on a synthetic um, dopamine. It's, it's not going to work. The side effects is, uh, when he told me the drugs he's taking for Parkinson, and I Google it, the side effects of the, of the drug for Parkinson is going to kill that man before Parkinson's killing him. <laughs> now, I can't take him off his medication because I didn't put him on his medication. I can teach him that there are natural sources of dopamine, but you need foods high in tryptophan and, and the amino acid to, to, to help to make the dopamine. There's a natural way to heal everything. If we will just learn, trust, and obey, hear the voice of Jesus saying to you this morning, I wish above all things that my children be in good health and prosper, even as their soul shall prosper. Let us pray. Father, today is a beautiful day. I'm just celebrating life as I have you in my life. I thank you, Lord, for your bosom that I can sleep on every night. And I thank you, Lord, that the blood stained pathway that Jesus walked was laid on before me. And so if we have to suffer a little bit with Jesus, it's okay. Our master suffered. The patriarchs and the prophets suffered. They, 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 the martyrs suffered. So if we have to suffer, we suffer with Jesus for a little while. Because then comes eternity. We thank you, Lord, that though we didn't choose to be born in this earth, we, you brought us into existence because you want us to be with you for eternity. You are our creator. You told Nicodemus, Jesus, you've got to be born again. And so all of us now born into this sinful world must be born again into the kingdom of God. And Father, you've made every provision for this to be done. We thank you for Jesus. We celebrate Jesus. He's our King of kings and our Lord of lords. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. He's our King's Man Redeemer. He's our High Priest praying for us. He's our Advocate. He has taken the price for sins that we can be set free and we celebrate Jesus. So whatever is going on on this earth today, Lord, I pray that your children will hear the voice of Jesus saying, my children, this is the way. Walk in it. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. And thank you, Lord, for your angels who are here protecting us and ministering unto us, ensuring that we stay our eyes fixed on Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. In Christ's name we pray, with thanksgiving and love. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I want you to know that I, I've switched from my other pepper to the cayenne pepper. The oh, powder, praise the Lord. The powder. <laughs> I, it, but, was, it was quite a different, um, because I used to love hot peppers, really hot peppers. Okay. So switching is, is kind of good. And again, talking about blood, blood is life. Um, you know, the Lord said his blood for us. So uh, folks, take care of your blood, take care of your blood, take care of your blood. Make sure that you know um, what you're doing because... Mm. Listening, I'm glad that you, you you expand your time to be able to share a little bit more in in, in what, what 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 we need to know here. Um, and, and thank you so much, Doc. Listen, man, you're a blessing to a lot of people. Um, not only for the tips that you give them, uh, and again, I, I I got the number here that I can refer to folks to call, and if I have it right, uh, did I get it right? What is the number here? Oh, there we go. Is it um eight seven six three two six four six five zero? No. No. Eight seven six nine seven four eight eight one three. Oh. Okay. Or eight seven six eight seven eight 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 six seven. Okay. So, uh, on your website, you need to change that because that's when it's showing up. Okay. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. I will. So eight seven six eight seven eight 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 six seven is the other number to call. Um, and what is the the uh, email address? Is it? Okay, so go ahead. IHFM2015 at gmail.com. That's, that's, that's correct. Yeah. IHFM2015 at gmail.com. That's another email that you can also reach out to Dr. Debs. And trust me, look at me. Ah, you're looking good, Claire, <laughs> You're looking good. She, she, she's talking about 51. I'm one year away from 60. So, you know. <laughs> God is good. God is good. Dr. Debs, thank you once again for sharing with us. 
Amen. Amen. Love to you. Bye day, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. That's Dr. Deborah Williams right here on SPR Live FM, the Praise Life Morning Show. Stick and stay with us. We're coming up to.